Hello and welcome back to Inversion Addicts. Today we're back at Thorpe Park. We're here for Oktoberfest, Sunday the 27th of September. And we're really looking forward to see how this compares to the Alton Towers Oktoberfest. Are you excited for this one, Dave? Oh, I'm really excited for a bit of Thorpe. Here we go, can't wait, let's get inside. Here we are, we've made it inside the island like no other. Thank God, that was a very quick and efficient entry procedure, wasn't it? No yeah, problems. Yeah, it was really quick, and I have seen a few of the major rides testing, which I'm happy about. Yeah, we've uh, we've seen them all going around. The flying fish, flying fish, sorry, is going around there. Ah, just what we want to see. So, really looking forward to this. Let's hope we have a good day here at Thought Park. We'll keep you in the loop. Here we are. The gates are open, we're in, it's 10 to 10. That was pretty efficient, weren't it? It was actually really efficient getting in here. Swarm is on a late open, and that is something we've come to expect. So if you are coming to Fort Park, don't choose Swarm as your first drive. Yeah, Swarm's always uh, on a late opening from what we can see. Oh, that's very loud. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> but here we go, first up, as tradition, Nemesis Inferno, first ride of the day. Let's get it. Ah, the Oktoberfest section's looking pretty good. Not quite as majestic as the Alton Towers one, but... No, the Alton Towers one was really actually quite the amazing. Yeah, thing. yeah, they really went all out, but this is cool. Yeah, really nice to see. It's going to be good to see uh, the action that happens over here later on. I wonder if we've got any live music here with the stage. Very cool. But looking forward to our first ride. Let's go. Ah, they've gone to quite a lot of effort here, Thought Park. This is really nice to see more of a park wide thing than just one area so we look forward to having a walk around today and we'll show you all the uh, the new additions for Oktoberfest looking forward to it uh, we've made it to Nemesis Inferno just had the announcement that the queue is open so here we go first ride of the day enjoy the rest of your day everyone As always, another outstanding ride on Nemesis Inferno. Those interlocking corkscrews are really good. Yes, yeah, spot on, absolutely butter smooth. Really enjoyed that. It's uh, a lot smoother than the uh, counterpart over at Alton Towers, that's for sure. Not saying it's a better ride, but definitely a smoother experience. Fantastic first ride of the day here at Thought Park. Here we go, some Skirfest updates. Now I do apologize about the wind. If it's affecting the audio, it is a little bit windy today. But here down at Amity Speedway, we have some Fright Night prep. Awesome. <laughs> well, 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 Stealth does it again. Second to the front row. And what a ride that was. Another thing to note is they've changed the audio to I Spy Dry Go Go Go. Yeah, it's a little German guy instead, which is really cool. Oh, I love the little touches like that. On the entrance gates as well, it gives a little yodel on the way in, didn't it? Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, I love them little touches. Nice one, Thought Park. So, second ride of the day, we waited literally two minutes. I mean, look at that, it's a complete walk on. So, next up, we're on our way over there. Next up, the swarm, let's go. The old flying fish. More people waiting for that than stealth. That's madness, isn't it? I can't believe it. Ten minutes, first two rides of the day. Stealth and Inferno. Absolutely spot on start. Let's hope we can get on the swarm just as quickly. Next up. Yeah, we've arrived at one of my favourite rides in the UK. It's the swarm. You looking forward to this, Dave? The swarm. Absolutely loving it. Can't wait to get on here. Let's do it. There we are. Definitely the biggest queue we've seen so far. Quite a big one. Let's get in this. We'll let you know how long we wait.
So, just gone 10.30 and still no swarm. So we're gonna take a stroll over towards Colossus and maybe come back here in a little while. The delayed opening for the swarm. <laughs> just as we were leaving, there's people going on it. <laughs> Let's get on the swarm. Oh God, well, take two, the swarm, third ride of the day. Let's try again. Have it. We waited just over 40 minutes for the swarm there. Really good. Really good way and a really good ride. Yes, yeah, such a good ride. It's just absolutely amazing. Definitely up there. It's in my top two coasters in the UK. Oh, what a splendid ride. So next up we're gonna head down to Saw and Colossus. Is that right? Yeah, that is correct. The boss has spoken. Next up, Colossus and Saw. Let's go. Very cool. More Fright Night updates. You up for Fright Night, Xavier? Are you looking forward to it? I'm really looking forward to it. All these amazing rides in the dark. It's going to be amazing. So that's the second bus we've seen. I believe that's going to be the uh, the Amity High Rivals. Is it Raventhorpe or something like that? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, cool. So next up, Colossus. You excited to get on this one? It's open. I am actually quite excited, despite it being a bit rough. Yeah, it's not the, uh, not the smoothest ride, but I really enjoy it. Definitely worth a ride. Next up, ride four of the day. Colossus is advertised as a 20 minute queue. It's a really quiet day so far. We're loving this, aren't we? Honestly, there's no one here. Yeah, it seems really good. The busiest we've seen anywhere was Swarm. I'd say we didn't really wait too long for that, under an hour, so happy days. Let's go, ride four of the day, Colossus. Decent little ride on Colossus though, what did you think? I actually really enjoyed that little ride on Colossus. It wasn't too Water bad. The roll is amazing. Yeah, absolutely. And that, that loop, I think the, the first uh, inversion there, the loop's really good. It is a little bit on the rough side, but keep your head forward and it's it's a decent ride. It's not that bad. So next up, we're gonna have a stroll over to Saw the Ride. Another one that I, I find a, a little bit head bangy, a little bit on the rougher side, but it's a must ride when you come into Thorpe Park. So we'll have a stroll over there. Good signs. Samurai is now testing. It has been shut all day, but uh, it's just set to kick off now. Here we go. I'm going to walk over here now and get on saw. Quite the queue here at saw. It's 70 minutes. So it's uh, the longest queue on the park. Let's see if it's uh, it's a little bit over exaggerated or not. We're gonna jump in this one. Let's go. That actually wasn't too bad of a wait. We're in the station building. We've only waited 30 minutes. Not too bad at all. Next up, saw the ride. Well, I don't think I've had such an enjoyable ride on Saw in a while. That was so smooth. Yeah, it felt really, really smooth. I am the first person to whinge about Saw. Maybe it's the extra padding. I've got a, a big jacket and a, a woolly hat on. Maybe that helped. But yeah, no head banging. I've no headache. I really enjoyed it. Well, I take back everything I've ever said about you, Saw. Fantastic little ride. Really happy with that. So that's it. We've done all the major coasters. And it's only just gone midday. What a fantastic morning. How have we done this? It's absolutely awesome. The longest queue of the day was there. It was advertised as 70 minutes. There she goes. But like I said, we were through on and off, probably within about 35, 40 minutes tops. So really impressed with the operations as always at Thorpe Park. We did um, did have a bit of grumble on Colossus, didn't we? A little bit yeah. slower than the rest of the rides, yeah. letting, the, t it letting was, the team down. It was quite poor operation. Yeah, it, it was like, I think maybe five minutes went by 
in between train dispatches which just seemed absolutely ridiculous we were waiting sort of longer in the station than we were out of the station but yeah well that's just colossus for you i guess but yeah fantastic ride on saw so there so now we're gonna have a little walk around the park and check out this Oktoberfest festivities. They are so cool, the Oktoberfest festivities. Yeah, yeah, we're impressed with Oktoberfest so far. So we're gonna have a walk around and check out the rest of the park. Stick with us. So there you go, following on from what we said, the slow operations on Colossus have just got even slower and it's now delayed, it's, it's closed. I mean, I don't know how, but uh, almost every ride in this area bar saw He's closed. Yeah, every every ride but, but so it's crazy. Samurai's down, now Colossus is down, so uh, a little bit of a quiet, quiet part of the park, but there we go. So we're gonna have a, a walk round. Let's have a look what other rides we can get on and check out this Oktoberfest. <laughs> Can't believe that ride on saw. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. Honestly, it was really, really smooth, really quick. My god, I'm, honestly my head's gone. Saw the ride everybody. Not quite the day for tidal wave, but there's a decent queue for it. No thanks. Ah, I know we had a little stroll through earlier in the vlog, but we're gonna have a good look around this Oktoberfest area now that the crowds are picking up a little bit. Still no live music just yet, but we'll keep our ear to the ground. Very cool area though. See the ghost train sign's been swapped there for a, a beer bar. Does that, does that point for uh, the future of the ghost train or is it just because it's shut temporarily? I don't know, maybe they're shutting uh, Darren Brown. It is, a lot of people hate it, but a yeah. lot of people love it. Fingers crossed. I mean, I'm not a big fan. I've only ever done it once and it, uh, it wasn't my, my favorite ride. The VR it did make me feel a little bit sick, but there we go. So yeah, this is lovely. Look, there's some uh, little German stalls down here. Let's go check this out. A bit gutted, there's no Oktoberfest pins. No pins. <laughs> Say he's mad for the pins. This is really cool though. Cool to see. Crepes, brownies and all the rest. I think it might be time for a stein now. I'm, I'm building up a first. Yeah, I am. Let's get you a stein, lad. Even Mr. Monkey's Banana Ride's got a Bavarian theme there. I love that music. It looks better than Nemesis. <laughs> oh, come on now. Yeah, this is, uh, this is a crazy one. We've done all the coasters and it's, uh, it's pretty much only halfway through the day. So we're going to start again, aren't we? We're going to hit Nemesis yeah. and start over Nemesis and see if we can uh, do all the rides again. Second ride on Nemesis Inferno. Fantastic. change over here now the umpire 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 rapids love that <laughs> we just noticed as well detonator gives you a little off weeder saying at the top doesn't it oh yes Oktoberfest galore loving it so just a very quick update we did wait 40 minutes then for the old nemesis inferno and it went down so we thought sack it seeing as the uh, queues are pretty short might as well come back later see if it reopens we're gonna head back to stealth now for Samurai. I think we're going to skip that actually. It's, uh, saw the ride's only um, advertised as 30 minutes now so we're going to jump on that. Good news down here, Colossus is also back open so fantastic. Yeah they have kind of redeemed themselves. Yeah it was a little bit quiet down this end of the park a, a bit ago but yeah everything's back open now. There's not many rides down to be fair. Obviously uh, the Walking Dead's still not open this season but other than that today everything's uh, everything's been popping so Fantastic day so far. Here we have a little Bavarian crew, that's cool, isn't it? They've been walking around the park all day. Really cool. 
Yeah, they come around and give everybody a little umpa. Also, we we are doing some live music just down here at the Oktoberfest section soon, so we'll try and get some footage of that as well. Yeah, we'll try and get a bit of footage. Absolutely, we've had, had a really good day for rides. We there, uh, we've pretty much re-rode everything. We're gonna go and try and get on Nemesis Inferno again now, as we had a little bit of bad luck before. It, it shut just as we got to the front of the queue, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was a big shame to be honest. So let's hope we can redeem ourselves. It looks like a bit of a big queue. The app's saying it is 70 minutes, so let's see how long we wait. For our second ride on Nemesis Inferno. Absolutely love the view of stealth from Nemesis. There we are, jumping in the queue. It's actually just gone up to 75 minutes. Gotta help us. <laughs> Let's see how long we wait. Here we go. tell you what you really can't grumble with the operations today with we've, we've been stood in this queue for no more than 40 minutes and it's advertised at 75 so we're happy with that aren't we <laughs> Xavier is loving it so yeah really good quicker than uh, quicker than expected it is a long queue but obviously with uh, Nemesis being quite a high throughput ride we're straight on what do you think about 40 minutes yeah probably about that not bad at all happy days so here we go Next ride, it's a re-ride on Nemesis Inferno. Wow, another fantastic ride on Nemesis Inferno, what do you think? Really rated that. Yeah, great ride, running really smooth. It's making Nemesis over at Alton Towers look a little bit rough for me, that one. But we're also wondering what this is. It looks like some uh, some Fright Night updates, maybe for a Platform 15 perhaps. If you know, drop us a line in the comments. Really looking forward to Fright Night and Scurfest. It's gonna be quality. No Here we go, I've been waiting for this. The umpire band are finally on. Let's check these guys out. There's only two people indulging so far. Clear Park, how are we doing? Whee! That is more like it. We are the London Umpire Band. We're here for October. This is up. And we go a little bit like this. They sound awesome, you wouldn't think it were a four piece. Sounds like a full on like brass band orchestra, it's class. Yeah, really good. Yeah, really good, impressive. Very nice, very nice. So, next up, we're gonna have a little stroll around. Can't believe how many rides we've done today. We've absolutely obliterated it, haven't we? Yeah, honestly, there is nobody here. It might look like it, but in the queues, the longest queue we've had to wait in has been around an hour. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, some are advertised around 70 minutes, but even the uh, the Nemesis Inferno queue advertised at 70. We we're on there in 45 minutes, so fantastic operations. I said crowd levels don't look overly quiet, but honestly, the ride queues have been fantastic. Big ride count today. So next up, where are we heading, Xavier? The swarm? Yeah. Right, it's the swarm time. Let's get back on it. The theme park equivalent of nails on a chalkboard. What a horrible noise. Oh, yeah. Oof. Depth charge is absolutely on its neck. <laughs> Sounds rough. RIP Slammer. What a shame seeing it there all abandoned. But looking forward to Black Mirror Labyrinth opening next year. Should be good. Zave. <laughs> Here we are, we're feeling a little bit knackered. 5 a.m. start this morning on the drive down. So we're starting to flag a little bit now. It's just about to go 4 p.m. We're in our last hour, are you feeling it? I am feeling it. Feet killing. 
<laughs> so it is time for our last couple of rides I believe we're gonna head around see what queues are manageable and uh, try and pick wisely for our last couple stick with us and we'll sign you out over by the dome so we've just had an absolutely unbelievable last ride as always on stealth and we managed to be there for about 15 minutes. We actually got <laughs> stuck on the final break run. Yeah, we uh, we, yeah, we got stuck. We were uh, one of the last trains of the day. There's a couple more left in the queue to, to get through. And we got stuck there on the break run for about 15 minutes, which kind of ruined our, our last ride plans, didn't it? But yeah. there we go. But a really good day. Just to give you a quick catch up, we, uh, we went and re-rode pretty much everything three times, didn't we? The queues were yeah, sort of 20 minutes by the end of the day. Brilliant. Have you had a good day, Xavier? Oh, it's been the best. Spot on, as always. Oktoberfest has been really good. We've uh, enjoyed sort of having a little look around the park and trying to see some clues for Fright Nights. But yeah, it's been awesome. We're going to head now to the exit and we'll sign you out over near the dome. And there we have it. That's going to wrap up another fantastic day here at Thorpe Park. Xavier, have you had a good day? Yeah, I've had a brilliant day. Yeah, best ride of the day for you? Probably the probably Stealth. Stealth, yeah, really good. There she is. It's been amazing. Throughputs on rides have been absolutely incredible today. Like I said, the crowd levels weren't terrible. There was a few in, but I don't think we waited more than an hour for anything. Uh, and if we did, it's because of cleaning. But yeah, really good. A lot of the queues were the state in sort of 70 to 80 minutes. You're through there in under an hour, 45 to 50 minutes. So really impressed. Also really impressed with the Oktoberfest here at Thorpe Park and Alton Towers. If you've not already watched it, check the vlog on the channel now from Alton Towers last week. But that's going to wrap it up today. Xavier, anything to say before we leave? I just want to say that Stealth and Swarm are brilliant. Yeah, and I think definitely. Swarm could be my top ride in the UK after that today. It's really, really good ride. It, it seems to get more and more intense the more I ride it. At first, I thought it was a little bit tame. And, and today, it seemed really good. I almost greyed out on one of them uh, inversions there. Yeah, if you do actually ride it towards the back and on an outer edge, especially towards the... Uh, like, the end of the day yeah the back row yeah absolutely amazing phenomenal. yeah we had a back row ride as our last ride on on there uh, the swarm just before we headed over to stealth for our last ride of the day and amazing really intense fantastic ride so thanks so much for watching everybody we'll be back next week with another vlog here on inversion onyx until then take care take care guys thanks for watching see you again <laughs>